Holy, 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 the holy gospel according to Saint John. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. When the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father was sent in my name, has come, he, sh he shall teach you all things, and and being to your remembrance all things that I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard, heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes to pass that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the Prince of this world comes and has nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father. And as the Father gave me commandments, so I do. Arise, let you let us go from here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you, abide in me and I in you. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the saint of God be fulfilled in peace. We worship you, Christ, our God, the good Father, and the Holy Spirit. For you have come and saved us, have mercy upon us. 
Your Holy Spirit, O Lord, whom you sent forth upon your holy disciples and honored apostles in the third hour, do not take away from us, O good one, but renew him within us, creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. O Lord, who send down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples and your honored apostles in the third hour, do not take him away from us, O good one, but we ask you to renew him within us, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the world. Alright, Allah, giving spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of fullness, righteousness and authority, O the Almighty One, for you are the light of our souls. O you give light to every man that comes in the world, have mercy on us. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you for of grace with the apostles, for the salvation of our souls. This is the Lord our God, this is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way for his God of our salvation. Amen. 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 Amen.
Tell the handwriting of our sins, Christ our God, and save us. I cry to God, and the Lord heard me, God hear my prayer, and do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me, and hear me in the evening, in the morning, and at midday. I say my words, and hear my voice, and delivers my soul in peace. O oh, Jesus Christ, our God, who was nailed to the cross in the sixth hour, and killed the sin by the tree, and by your death, you made alive the dead man whom you created with your own hands and had died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing, all of giving passions, and by the nails with which your nail risk our minds from thoughtlessness of the earthly deeds and what we lost the members we have commands according to your compassion. Since we have no favor, no excuse, no justification, because of our many sins, we throw you implore to him was born of you, you took the virgin, for abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior. O Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore. For he is merciful and able to save us, because he suffered for us to deliver us. Let your compassion speedily reach us for and see humble. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name.
holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, who heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor, have mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord God of hosts, be with us, for we have no help or no hardships of tribulation with you. Let us all forgive and remit of God our transgressions, those who have committed willingly, and those who have committed unwillingly, those who have committed knowingly, and those who have committed unknowingly, the hidden and the manifest, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, Lord, and not according to our sins. How will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and pure us our trespasses as we forgive those trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one in Christ. Jesus our Lord, for thy the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory and honor, honor and glory to the Lord, Holy Spirit, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Peace and dedication to the one only Holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God Amen. Remember, O oh Lord, with those who have brought you these gifts, those on whose behalf we have been brought, and those by whom we have been brought. Give them all the heavenly rewards. Jesus, 
Christ, we thank you for everything, concerning everything and everything, for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplication and prayers of his sins. For that it was the truth of God on our behalf at all times, and to keep the life and standing of our Father, Father the High Priest, Baba, Abba, Tadr, the Second, and then His Father, and that was the clergy, our Father, the Bishop, Abba, Yusuf, and make us worthy to partake of the communion of His holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you have given us the authority to tread on servants and scorpions and upon on the power of the enemy. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. 
Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For it by the elders obtained a good testimony. By faith we understand that that the wor worlds we were, were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. <clears throat> by faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he, he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts. And through it being death still speaks. By faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him for before he was taken he had, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of those who dil diligently seek him. By faith Noah being di divinely warned of things not yet seen moved with godly with godly fear prepared an ark for the saving of his household by which he condemned by the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith by faith abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance and he went out not knowing where he was going by faith he dwelt in the land of promise as in as in a foreign country dwelling in tents with isaac and jacob the heirs with him of the same promise for he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. The grace of the grace of God the Father be with you all in us. The Catholic Abyssal from the Abyssal of our teacher St. James, may his holy blessings be with us. Amen. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith have him? If a brother or a sister is naked and is of daily food and one of you says to them depart in peace be warmed and filled but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body what does it profit 
Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith with my works. You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works, and by works faith was made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled, which says Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world is passing away and it's lost. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Amen.
apostles who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit, may the blessings be with us all, amen. At this time, Moses was born and was well-pleasing to God, and he was brought up in his father's house three months. But when he was sent, was, but when he was sent out, Pharaoh's daughter took him away and brought him up as her own son. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and deeds. Now when, he had, when now when he was forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Israel. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended and avenged him, who, who was oppressed and struck down the Egyptian. For he supposed that his brethren would have understood that God would deliver them by his hand, but they did not understand. And the next day he, he appeared to two of them as they were fighting and tried to reconcile them, saying, Men, you are brethren. Why... Do you wrong one another? But he who did his neighbor wrong pushed him away, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge over us? Do you want to kill me as you did the Egyptian yesterday? Then at the saying, Moses fled and became a dweller of the land of Midian, where he had two sons. And when forty years had passed, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire in a bush in the wilderness of Mount Sinai. When Moses saw it, he marveled at the sight. And as he drew near to observe, the voice of the Lord came to him, saying, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses trembled and dared not look. Then the Lord said to him, Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their groaning, and have come down to deliver them. And now, come, I will send you to Egypt. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be confirmed in the Holy Church of God. Amen. the blessed months of Misra. May God end it in goodness. May he renew it for us for many years and peaceful times. While our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our merciful Lord. Amen. On this day, the church celebrates the Holy Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our father Abraham, he was born in all of the Chaldeans, and the name of his father was Terah. Terah was an idol worshipper. Uh, his son Abraham took a wife called Sarai, and the Lord told Abraham, get out of your country, away from your family and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. He left and went to the land of Canaan, where he lived under the badness of God. God blessed him and gave him Isaac uh, in his old age, for he was 100 years old. God tested Abraham when he told him, Take now your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering, uh, on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. Abraham rose early in the morning, took Isaac his son to offer him as a sacrifice as God has commanded. When God saw his obedience, he stopped him from sacrificing the lamb. God prepared for him a ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. He departed in peace when he was 175 years old. Our father Isaac, he was a son of Abraham, and he was born by a divine promise. He was perfect in pity and obedience to God and to his father. He was willing to be tied and sacrificed by his father as an offering to God. For this reason, he was called the sacrifice by intention and became a type for the Lord Christ, the true sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins. He suffered many tribulations and sorrows, and was sojourned in a foreign land. God gave him two sons, Esau and Jacob. Isaac uh, who loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. When uh, Isaac was old and his eyes were so dim that he could not see, he called Esau to bless him. However, Rebekah wanted Jacob to receive the blessing instead. Rebekah made uh, Savori food for Jacob to offer it to his father Isaac. 
pretending that he was Esau and Isaac blessed that Jacob. Isaac departed in peace when he was 180 years old. The father of the tribes, Jacob. He was the son of Isaac and the God called him Israel who prevailed with God. Jacob sojourned in the land of Haran feeling, uh, uh, fleeing from his brother Esau who wanted to kill him for he took from him his uh, birthright and uh, the blessing. On his way to Haran, and he took, uh, uh, of, uh, he took one of the stones of that place and put it under his head to sleep. Then he dreamed, and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth, and its top uh, reached to heaven. And there the angel of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord uh, God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land of which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants, uh, and a new and your seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go. And I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. When he arrived to his uncle Laban in Haran, he worked for him in shepherding his, uh, his sheep, and he gave him his daughters Leah and Rachel uh, in marriage. He begot from them and the two maiden servants, twelve sons and one daughter. After the dwell of Haran, twenty years, he returned to the land of Canaan together. Jacob and his brother Esau buried their father Isaac. He suffered many sorrows for his son uh, uh, in the J uh, Joseph, uh, their brother, and sold him to the Midianite uh, uh, traders uh, who passed by and took him to Egypt. Uh, uh, there Joseph gained the trust of the Pharaoh who appointed him the second man after him. When the famine was over, all the land of Canaan, the, the sons of Jacob uh, came to buy grains. Uh, Joseph recognized them and uh, he asked them to bring their father. Jacob came to Egypt and lived the rest of his life in the land of Goshen. When he was 147 years old, he departed in peace after commanding his sons to bury him, uh, his body, in the cave that was in the field of Machpelah, beside uh, his father Abraham and Isaac. The blessing of the prayers be with us all, and we will be to our God forever and ever. <laughs> For you, please are your eyes, for they see and your ears, so they hear. 
May all viewers with you and take the court and your holy gospel through the prayers of your sins. May for the holy gospel. Lord have mercy. Remember also our master. All those who have been lost from him, but in all supplication, the prayers which you have to you, Lord, the Lord God. Those who are great and secret for them, those who are sick, heal them for you are the apostles, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. A son of David say, Alleluia. The word which he commanded for.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today, the Church commemorates Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we call them our fathers, the Patriarchs. Patriarch is actually a Greek word. Patri means father. As we say, Zoxa, Patri, glory to the father. Ark means the head. So, Patriarch means the head of the fathers. And because Abraham, Isaac, Jacob are the heads of the Israel, so we call them the Patriarchs. Also, they are not the head of Israel according to the flesh, but also they are the fathers of the spiritual Israel. Israel means the people of God, the people who entered into covenant with God. So, and St. Paul in his letter to Romans explained that the true Israelite is not the one who actually according to the flesh is born of Israel. But the true Israelite is the one who actually is a son of Abraham by faith son of Abraham by faith, who had the faith of Abraham, who did the works of Abraham. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, um, if you are the children of Abraham, do the works of Abraham. So the Christian now who entered into the new covenant with God are the new Israel. Thus, these fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, are our fathers by faith. We are the children of Abraham, not according to the flesh, but by faith. These three fathers were unique in their faith, unique in their relationship with God. Abraham is a man of faith, and he is called the friend of God, the friend of God. Abraham, when God called him to leave his own family, his own country, his own land, and to follow him, Abraham obeyed. Although, as St. Paul explained in Hebrews chapter 11, he obeyed God not knowing where he is going. It was enough that God told him, follow me. And Abraham left everything and, and followed God. And Abraham actually lived all his life in tents. A symbol of uh, he is a stranger. He is a sojourn on this earth. He does, did not have a permanent dwelling place on earth. But he is in a journey, a stranger on earth. That's why in the consecration of monks, we read three prophecies. The first one is the calling of Abraham from the book of Genesis. As if we are saying, as Abraham left his life as a stranger, so also the monks should live their life as strangers here on earth. As Abraham, when he called, he, when he was called, he obeyed, not knowing even where he is going. In the same way, the monk, actually, when God called him, he should follow, not knowing where he is going. Also, Abraham, his life was very, very connected with altar. Where, wherever he goes, he built an altar and offered sacrifices to God. And the altar is, uh, symbolizes actually life of prayer. So Abraham, two main things in his life. He left his life as a stranger and he left the life of prayer. That's why, as I told you, we read his calling in the consecration of monks, because monks should live their life 
the life of prayer and the life of estrangement. Also, his faith, when God actually told him, through Sarah, you will have son. Although Abraham was 100 years old, Sarah was 90, and according to the natural law, they cannot have any children. But he believed in God. And God considered this faith righteousness for Abraham. He counted this faith as righteousness for Abraham. And he believed that God can create from the deadly womb of Sarah life. So Abraham actually believed in the resurrection of the dead because the womb of Sarah was dead. But from this deadly womb, as St. Paul explained in, also in his letter to Romans, from this deadly womb, God can create life. That's why when he begot Isaac, he called him son of laugh, son of joy, because uh, he was a source of joy to his parents. Then when Isaac grew up, another test to the faith of Abraham. God asked Abraham to offer Isaac as a sacrifice. And this test is very, very hard. We know, all of us, that children are very, very, very precious to their parents. So to ask a father to take his son, the son of the promise, the son that he waited for hundred years to ask the father to take the son and to offer him a sacrifice was a test. And of course in Judaism and Christianity human sacrifices are not acceptable. And God was just testing Abraham. God will never accept a human sacrifice. But this was a symbol Abraham represents God the Father. Isaac represents God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. So, God wants to demonstrate to us in a prophetic way how the Father did not spare his Son, but offered him as a sacrifice on the cross. So, he used the example of Abraham, who actually is willing to offer sacrifice, his Son as a sacrifice, in obedience to God. And as Isaac came back alive, in the same way our Lord Jesus Christ rose from the dead. But St. Paul explained how Abraham was so sure that even if he slaughtered Isaac, God will raise him from the dead. That's why he said to the two servants before climbing the mountain, he told them, we will go and worship and come back to you. We come back to you. Both of us will come back to you. How you are sure that both of you will come back? St. Paul explained this in, again in the letter to Romans. He said, as Abraham believed that God from the deadly womb of Sarah, he can create life in the same way, even if Isaac was his letter as a sacrifice. As God raised Isaac from the dead womb of Sarah, he is able actually to raise him from the dead after being slaughtered. So Abraham was a man of faith. A man of faith. He believed God and this was counted for him as righteousness. If we speak about Isaac, Isaac was a man of righteousness. He was righteous. He was doing everything right. That's the word righteousness. When Abraham told him, God wants me to offer you as a sacrifice. Because Isaac asked his father, where is the land that we will offer as sacrifice? 
And Abraham told him, God chose you to be the man. Isaac at the time was about 15, 16 years old. A youth, strong. And Abraham was 116. A very old man, feeble and weak. So it was very easy for Isaac to hit his father and to tell him, no, you are not going to kill me. And actually, if you want to push his father and to kill him, he would be able to do this. But Isaac was a righteous man. He obeyed God and willingly submitted himself to be a sacrifice. And God waited until he was tied and Abraham placed him on the altar and definitely 116 years old cannot carry a youth 16 years old to put him in the altar. So I can imagine that Isaac by himself agreed to climb on the altar and to lay down waiting to be slapped. And the angel of the Lord waited until Isaac, sorry, Abraham took the knife to slaughter his son. Then the angel told him, don't touch your son. Don't touch your son. And this also a symbol how our Lord Jesus Christ offered himself willingly. Willingly. And he submitted to his father by his own will. He said in Gethsemane, let it be according to your will, not according to my will. In total submission for the joy of the salvation of the world. So Isaac was a righteous man. Even in how he chose his wife, Actually, St. John Chrysostom, in his book, uh, Marriage and Family Life, he is using the model of how Isaac chose his wife as a model for all the youth who are considering marriage. Samson actually fell in three mistakes in the decision of marriage. Number one, he chose one stranger from his faith. Number two, he did not listen to his parents. Number three, he actually chose his wife based on physical attraction. He said to his father, she pleases me well. And he did not listen to his parents. Isaac, on the contrary, he did not Fell, he did not fall in these three mistakes. When Abraham sent his servant, Re'azar, to choose a wife for his son Isaac, and we see Isaac not involved at all, as if it doesn't belong, yeah, this matter is not about him. And Abraham said to Isaac, if the lady or the young woman refuse to come with you, don't you choose a son, uh, sorry, don't you choose a wife to my son from the daughters of the Canaanites. Don't you choose a pagan wife. Don't you choose a wife not from your faith, not from your religion. This opposite to Samson. Number two, Isaac. We never saw him contradicting with his father or contending with his father. He obeyed his father. He obeyed his advice. Isaac did not, although Isaac at the time was 40 years old. And he did not tell him, no, if the woman did not uh, agree, I will marry any other woman. But Isaac did not do this. Isaac obeyed his father. 
also when uh, I think did not know his wife until Ali Azar brought Rebecca from her family and brought her to Isaac. So the, the choice was not based on physical attraction, but the choice was based on she is from a noble family, a religious family, righteous family, so she will be a godly wife. And God blessed Isaac and Rebecca. Uh, if we come to Jacob, Jacob also was a righteous man, the father of the father, because he is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. And it is enough that God said about Jacob, I loved Jacob, I loved Jacob. Jacob was a man of prayer and persistence in prayer. All of us, we know the story when Jacob came from his uncle Laban and was going to meet Isa, his brother. And he was afraid from this meeting because he took the blessing of, uh, of Isa uh, by uh, deception. He deceived his father Isaac. So he was afraid. And on the way, he met God. God appeared to him in the form of man. And Jacob actually contended with God and told him, no, I'm not going to leave you until you bless me, until you give me blessing that when I meet Isa, you know, this will be a peaceful meeting. And he contended with God all night, all night. And this actually an example for us in prayer, how we should actually fight with God in, 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 a, in the right way. And we, we say like Jacob, I, 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 I will not leave you until you bless me. You bless me and you bless my family and bless my children. I am here actually to receive blessing from you, not according to my worthiness, but according to your uh, love and your mercy and your generosity. So we can see here uh, Jacob contended with God and at the end God blessed him. Blessed him. And he gave him a mark uh, when he hit him on his side. And Abraham, I'm sorry, Jacob was lending to remember this fight, to remember this is spiritual struggle. Many of us, we don't struggle in our prayers. When we feel bored, we don't pray. When we are busy, we don't pray. When we are tired, we don't pray. But can we have the spirit of Jacob in contending and fighting with God to receive blessing? Every morning, we don't leave our homes without receiving this blessing from God. Every day, we meet Isa in our life. We meet people who are threat to our faith, threat to our children, threat to our uh, morals. That's why we need the blessing as Abraham, uh, Jacob uh, got the blessing to be able to face um, Isa. We need this blessing. Also, these three fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob, the Lord uh, was pleased to relate himself to these fathers. When he appeared to Moses, he told him, I am the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, which means how God is proud of these three fathers, how he loved them, how he appointed them as patriarchs. So God actually, uh, like a father or a mother, a parent, 
take pride in their children. That he actually, uh, play, it pleases him to relate himself to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to say, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why the church commemorates these three great fathers, these three great patriarchs uh, today uh, as a commemoration for their holy life, the righteous life, the life of faith. So, if we are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we are their children as explained in the beginning by faith, we need to live according to their life. As the Lord said, if you are the children of Abraham, do the works of Abraham. So let's have the faith of Abraham. Let us do the works of Abraham, so indeed we'll become children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, was 
سرچیت بود از الله را نگه دوری نمبر و دور دهور اون را تجار کن باز دهان بیس و بار بدو دسکه دنیس به تو رزن تلکن رو کنچی ماله را چکن دسکه دنیس پارت و مزد سور پیتر جار خوزه بشو باز یوسی And his brother and Davos to the clergy, the patriarch of the Olympic Mara of Mrs. Brown the second, and his four nine Davos to the clergy, our father to Bishop Baba Yusuf, our first of the Bishop. Lord have mercy. Oh, oh, oh. 
los veis humildes que yo soy tu os, tu excelente artes, en la chedo ote. Ruyo el odio de la canción, el valor de vencer, Jesús Christ, of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Virgin
suffer, he makes good for falling on water and when he has given Spirits, 
that when they become one body and one spirit and they have a share and inherit among us with all the saints who have peace will send the beginning. Remember, O Lord, with the peace of your Lord on the holy earth, become a post to the
of research that one is the mark of the professors and the whole of the experts of the last in good faith and love. Most of all the pure to the glory of our version, our research was sent in. Place. Let us 
تسجيل الأوفر بيت أو الإبرنة أوفر في الستيت أوفر هيم Thus, the day of Isaac was a type of the shedding of the blood of Christ, the Son of God, on the cross for the salvation of the world. And as Isaac carried the firewood for the burnt offering, likewise Christ carried the wood of the cross. And as Isaac returned alive, likewise Christ rose alive from the dead and appeared. To his holy disciple. Thank you. 
Sansão, ao amor do Adão Seja Vida, Senhoras, não há uma vez que eu vou te falar, não há uma vez que eu vou te falar, não há uma vez que eu vou te falar, não há uma vez que eu vou te falar, não há uma vez que eu vou te falar,
first phrase of the angel saying, Glory to God in the highest peace on earth and goodwill towards men. Amen. <laughs>